If wisdom equals wealth, then poverty equals ignorance. Truly successful people are not successful because they've got it all together. It's they don't quit when others do. Your business is about profit. Profit is a formula. It's the same formula in any business. The strategies are different, but the formula is the same. The formula says in any business, the first variable is leads. A lead times a conversion rate, conversion rate equals number of customers. Now, a conversion rate is quite simply this. If I have a business and 100 people inquire a month and 20 buy, my conversion rate is 20%. Pretty simple. The importance of conversion rate cannot be underestimated in business because most people spend a lot of money trying to generate new leads. The greatest cost in running a business is the cost of getting a new client. It's just, you know, people come to you and they go, your answer is do a bigger page in white pages. Because, you know, and you don't know any better, so you think, just, let's just advertise more. Conversion rate is, well, of those people, are we converting them? Now, we'll go through this. Number of customers times average dollar sale times frequency of transaction. Now, frequency of transaction is quite simply how often they come back. Okay, so over a year, are they coming back twice a year, three times a year, four times a year? Okay, so leads times conversion rate equals number of customers. Number of customers times average dollar times times frequency of transaction equals turnover. Turnover times margin equals profit. Now, I'm now going to move to the right brain. I'm going to use some facts here. I'm going to show you the power using a real life example of what can happen to your business when you understand these five variables and operate on all five variables. The first thing that occurs, is let's just take this example. I've got 4,000 leads coming in a year. So I, the first thing is I'm measuring leads. That's a good place to start. We should be measuring leads. And in Ken Duncan galleries, every gallery now has a door counter. We will know instantaneously what their amount of leads coming in. In this business, the conversion rate is 25%. So it's obvious that the number of customers is 1,000, okay? 4,000 times 25%. The average dollar sale is 100. The frequency of transaction is two. The turnover is 200,000. The margin is 30%, so therefore the profit is 60,000. Now, let's just say that all that I do in this business for one year with focus is improve all of those five variables by 10%. What would happen to my business? Let's do the maths. Leads go from 4,000 to 4,400. Conversion rate goes from 25% to 27.5%. The first change that I see is my number of customers have gone from 1,000 to 1,210. I've just had a 21% increase in the number of customers. But it gets better. My average dollar sale goes from 100 to 110. My frequency of transaction goes from 2 to 2.2. My turnover, which was 200,000, is now 292,000. 
200. I've just improved that by 41%. And last but not least is my margin goes up by from 30 to 33%. And the net result of that is where my profit was 60,000, I have just moved my profit upwards to $96,630. I have just improved my gross profit by a major 61%. The reason that that works is because it operates on a principle that God understands because he created the principle of multiplication. Multiplication. 